Hello, my great and wonderful people. How on a day today? I hope all of on a day well. Today, <laughs> the magomago behind for subsidy by Amebola Tenebun, though they come out sumo sumo. This very first one, when you be say if they our table now, now the one when you be say if they come outside from the World Bank, yes, now they come outside to speak and review the details of the Wuruwuru when it be say I'm a bulletin it will do behind this for subsidy when it be say it cause a lot of katakata for inside this country today. All right, the title of this one to see NMPCL is not that transparent for the issue of subsidy dollar revenues. This one now the message when it be say World Bank they send across to address Nigerians, both the one for house and also the ones for diaspora. All right, maybe we'll do one or two readings from inside this very one, make you for understand the details of this very message. When we say what bank they sent across concerning the first subsidy by APC and Amebola Dinibun led administration. All right, before we go on, I beg not forget to help us like this video. Because the more you like this video, the more YouTube they recommend them to people. Now, their own policy now in be that very one. Thank you so much for your support. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, they can make us understand, see, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Limited, not that transparent about the financial gains when EBC is consigned for subsidy remover. This one are the message when EBC World Bank, they review to each and every one of us concerning this very matter and stay on top of the matter. The comic us understand, see, this issue of this subsidy, so this will, will, will be said the federal government of Nigeria, they do so, it still go alongside with subsidy areas when it be said they still they remove and also the impact for subsidy remover for federal government revenues. And this very message, they come to us from the Washington Bay's World Bank. And they made this very call from their Nigeria Development Updates for December 2023 edition, when it the title, Tony the Corner, from Reforms and Renew Hope to Results. This one, now the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, when it be said in Wale Edu, in Tose, the federal government of Nigeria, they ready to scrutinize the revenue flow from the NMPCL. According to the World Bank, why EBC revenue gains from the exchange rates reforms must be visible, they also need more clarity for all year revenues when EBC include the fiscal benefits from the PMS subsidy reforms. All right, my great and wonderful people. Now, only this one will take from this very message when we say it concerned this revelation when World Bank they review concerning this subsidy removal by Amebola Tinibu and the OAPC government. Before we leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section, the truth of the matter not pass be said. We're not the ignorant of this fact. Say now, Wuru Wuru na indiscipline they play Nigerians. Now, only gullible Nigerians will believe, say, Waiting the third us concerning this first subsidy, say all of them not true. If not, I believe by now we were supposed to don't see evidence of this first subsidy remover. We must supposed to don't see the betterment of all this issue when it be see the third us from the beginning. But to our greater surprise, as they they break now the worst situation now in with the face for this country. Now, so we talk courage, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section, even as we take you down to this other video. And this video, another video, when we say it concerns the crisis, when we say it happen right now, as we speak, for River States between Yeson Wiki and Sim Fubara. You know, since when EBC Sim Fubara, they reject Yeson Wiki and everything when EBC in right out as his own benefit as Godfather. Yes, so we cannot allow Simfubara CI to lead the people of River States. Yesterday, we bring you a message how EBC about 27 lawmakers they decline from PDP to APC just to wicked Simfubara. And the person behind all those moves of those lawmakers 
not pass yes so wicked. But as we they talk now, the house of assembly don't go down for river states. Yes, now what did they happen now? It be that very one. When it be said they use multi-million naira, if not dollar, to build the revenue of taxpayer. Yes, taxpayer money. They carry on down with everything when it be say it they inside. When they allocate as budget billions upon billions. I want make one hear this very video. I'll come back. State House of Assembly built with taxpayers' money, very humongous uh, amount of money is being pulled down this morning. As I speak with you, I am in the NS Ecoli Press Center on Moscow Road, Port Harcourt, adjacent to the House of Assembly complex. We would have ordinarily taken this life near where the action is, but we'll be threatened this morning that if we do that, we would never go with our lives from that system. And so we needed to quickly get out of that to this safer place so that we can live with our lives at the end of this life. And so at, of this life uh, uh, connection. And so, yes, the assembly complex is being demolished. If you watch behind me, uh, if not for the gate of the NSC Coley Press Center, you would have seen the assembly complex. But as I speak with you, bulldozers are pulling out, pulling down, I should say, this edifice. And people are beginning to ask questions. What is going on here? What is going on? What is rivers turning into? Are you the assembly complex? The entire complex, not the, 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 the hollow chambers that was burned. The entire complex is being pulled down by not less than five different bulldozers. Okay. Over to you, Ayo. Okay. Has the state government uh, given any explanation for this uh, demolition? And uh, what form is the demolition taking? Is it along with all the facilities within the uh, premises, including furniture, air conditioning, vehicles, Complete total demolition, the kind of thing we see in the movies. Is that what is happening or the place was first emptied mm -hmm. out and it's just the structure that is being demolished? What is the exact form of that uh, demolition? And has there been any explanation by the state government? Yes, doc uh, Dr. Abathi, before now, the state government had said it intends to renovate the assembly complex. But no one had thought that the reno renovation is going to come in this form. To answer your question directly, the entire complex, not even a pin from what we are seeing this morning was picked from this complex. Everything in the entire complex is going down in this demolition exercise. Including and files, from documents. Three days ago where the every, I must tell you, everything Dr. Abati is going down. Is going down and and is 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 heart rendering. It is it is it is it is. I don't know. I'm looking for the right choice of word to use because, like I said earlier on, this is a complex that was put up with very very high sum of. I mean, a, a very a, a, a large sum of the people's sweat, the people's money, because this is the taxpayers' money. These are revenue money generated by the state government and taken from the state coffers to be able to put it put on this befitting edifice for okay. in order to effectively represent okay. the the garden city of okay. river state but, but, Mr. Manam, everything is going down doctor all right my great and wonderful people i believe say when I say the battle yes the battle for superiority between yes wiki the minister of f city the former governor of River State and the present governor of River State, when we see in him Nassim Fubara. You know, honestly, as yes, so we can say River State is, you know, will let and remove your own hand. They already talk and say, waiting on less more picking remove hand from honey, na poch bele, na it will end it will matter for nights. Now, so talking is concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section. And according to what it just happened, I want to say that they destroy that very house of assembly complex. Very massive project. When they say they used taxpayers' money to build, they thought, say, now because of say one or two issues, 
sina ime de brigand down and that they plan to build another one. Tell me, whether even if anything happened to this very building, they're not going to appear uh, rather than to just bring her down. For this man, I'm going to be said they take her and down. The money going to be said they want to erect new one from the starting to the end. You know, reach to do another thing for the rivers people. They want to tell us, say, no development again when they they're supposed to go into down to the destroyed buildings and to the start and from the beginning. I want to make one hear from this very man as he grant interview concerning waiting the plan to do as they bring that former one down. I'll come back for more. Recall that um, on the 30th of October, after the fire incident that took place on the 29th, arising from the visit of His Excellency, I was on that trip and we got there to assess the extent of damage. But beyond that, His Excellency also commissioned uh, consultants who went into the structure and came up with uh, an advice that uh, it was no longer habitable and not very conducive for business. On the strength of that advice, the government had decided to demolish that structure and also provide a befitting place for members of parliament to transact their business. Well, the rapidity at which uh, we commence today will tell you that uh, we're prepared to do it. I mean, within record time, I'm sure that place will be fit for uh, legislative business. All right, my great and wonderful people, you don't hear everything by your own self. We don't get anything to add. You, by yourself, you judge whether or not the right thing these people they do or that they try to deceive Nigerians by their own gullible ways. All right. The next video I'm going to be saying one quickly if you make you watch. Now, video I'm going to be saying what they receive from the chief of staff. So, I'm a bulletin. I'm going to be saying in name Femi Bajabia Mila. Remember, some time ago, before this administration of I'm a bulletin, during Azim Buhari administration, they tell us about one uh, Asurok clinic, right? When it be the budget billions upon billions of dollars. And at the end, we not see Absolute Clinic and we not see the dollars. And on daily basis, now in within the city, these people, they fly out, go the tree, they assess. And a lot of us, they ask questions, what it happened to the billions upon billions when it be said the budget for this Asurok Clinic. Now, Femi Bajabiamila.com aside to review to us the extent when it be said then, don't go for that Asurok clinic i beg watch this video first we'll come back to tell you what they are our mind concerning this asurok clinic now beautiful thing as we see the video watch and we'll come back for more six months after its may commissioning by president muhammad buhari the presidential wing of the state house medical center designated for the president vice president their families and vips remains partially operational Chief of Staff to President Bola Chinubu, Femi Bejabiamila, arrives the expansive facility covering over 2,000 square meters and strategically located within the city of Pa in the Asurok Villa. The chairman of clinical services at the State House then provides a guided tour. With a substantial budget of 21 billion naira, the facility aspires to redefine healthcare standards within the state house. In the face of skepticism surrounding the clinic's functionality and past trends of Nigerian leaders seeking medical attention abroad, Femi Bajabiamila becomes the first government official in the Tinubu administration to inspect the clinic. He addresses public concerns. There's been a lot of talk about this clinic, and uh, not just today. Um, even when I was in the National Assembly as speaker, um, and so I thought, you know, um, I haven't been here a few months. Let's have a look at and see exactly what is going on. Um, I have seen. I am very impressed, and I'm sure you are as well because you went around with me. Um, this is a clinic like anywhere in the world you will find. He also expresses admiration for the world-class equipment within the clinic and justifies the substantial expenditure. As far as clinics go, 
in terms of equipment, in terms of what they can do, in terms of, um, I mean, I've just been lectured about kidney transplant now from, <laughs> from one of the best, um, uh, well, there's a cath lab that's um, world class. Uh, and so many other things. You know, this is, this is, this is, it, it gladdens my heart that um, at least when we were appropriating money in the, in the, in the House of Representatives, our speaker, um, I can see where the money, money, money has gone to. So it's for them to, uh, to dot the I's and cross the T's. Among its features, the facility boasts five specialized consulting rooms for respiratory, cardiology, ophthalmology, ENT and general consultations. Additionally, it houses advanced diagnostic suites equipped with MRI, CT scan and endoscopy facilities along with conference and meeting rooms, a pharmacy and more. The chairman of clinical services sheds light on the current status of the facility, emphasizing its final stages of preparation. The last administration stopped. Everything is in place, but they wanted this uh, administration to drive the process. That was the language. So um, we've carried our principles along, so it's for them to give us a go-ahead. What we have here is skeletal, just the way we were having the villa clinic. That's what we do here. But once they do the ice, we can't take decisions on our own. They give us a go-ahead and we are good to go. As the State House Hospital undergoes the final stages of preparation, expectations are high for its potential impact on reshaping medical services for top ranking government officials, urging a shift towards domestic healthcare resources. All right, my great and wonderful people, Abilisi Unasi, the beautiful uh, structure and the clinic when EBC debuted for Asurok for billions upon billions of dollars for the presidency. Now, very good thing, they're doing very well. I bet we will advise them, may they take their treatment for here. Because what our eyes see for inside this clinic right now, now world standard, right? Now, apart from that, we want to ask these people, even to the extent they get conference hall for inside clinic, right? No problem, office is day, everything day nice. All the equipment will be said they need to treat their self, they everywhere, right? If Una fit think about this very one for Una self, Una believe say Nigerians not deserve something like this. This one are the question when it be said with the ask Una. Why it be say na Una? Una always they think say he deserve the best. Nigerians not deserve something like this. The money when it be said Una take do all these ones. Una not still get the same money when they say Una will take do something like this for Nigerians, for each state, for Nigerians to take treatments. Eh? We talk about SUV now Una says. We talk about bulletproof cars now for Una says. We talk about the best place where it be say light day, water day now for Una says. We talk about the best hospital now for Una says. I beg, listen to us. All the presidency, listen to us, I beg. We elect Una for us to become Una slave, for us Nigerians to become Una servants. We the owe Una, I be now Una, they owe us. We the serve Una, I be now Una supposed to deserve us. This one a question when it be said, we they ask Una, our dear presidency, when it be said, Una call Una serves. We not thought it not be good thing. For Una to build something like this for Asurok. With the advice Una, I beg, in as much as Una doan in what standard, we love them. Make Una stay there, treat Una self, and also replicate such for Nigerians to take their treatment whenever the need arises for Nigerians. Nigerians deserve more than Una own selves. All right, that's all talking concerning this matter. We'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section, even as we draw the line of this very broadcast here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.